listening to the Michael Geeky Podcast. All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Myco Geeky Podcast, the podcast that goes deep so you can level up your at-home mushroom cultivation game. I am your host, Myco Geeky, and tonight we have a really cool episode. Um, we are, for the first time, going to interview uh, a group of moderators and founders of a Facebook group. Um, this Facebook group has over 5,000 members. Uh, it's been around for about seven months. And uh, we're going to get to know the people who had the vision and uh, idea to put this group together and what it's all about. I'm talking about the Ladies of Mycology Facebook group. Uh, it was founded by Missy Myco, uh, Susie Greenberg. Uh, and yeah, we're going to get into it. But first, I want to give a shout out to, you know, the Discord mods, my Patreon supporters. Uh, without you guys, you, you know, we wouldn't be able to provide uh, help and information and cultivation experience to people who are looking to grow mushrooms. And uh, without my, my Patreon supporters, I wouldn't be paying any of these bills and I probably wouldn't be doing this anymore. So uh, absolutely from the bottom of my heart, I thank all my Patreon supporters. You guys are keeping me going um, and you guys are hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, we're trying to still raise a little bit of money, but I think I'm going to be going to that Mexico trip. So that should be fun. We're going to get down to, you know, the subtropics. We're going to find hopefully a lot of fascinating and cool uh, psilocybe species in their native habitats. Uh, I, of course, am really crossing my fingers. I get to find some uh, Zapticorum. Uh, that, that will be particularly, uh, that's a golden goose for me. So anyway, uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for supporting me. Uh, last week's episode was really fun. Um, it was very touching. It was great to just see how many people uh, uh, we've been able to talk to and get to know over the last year. So uh, again, thank you. Um, so tonight, uh, let's get into it. Ladies in Mycology. All right, here we are. Ladies in Mycology in the house. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey. Good, good. All right, we got it's a full house here, guys. I feel like I'm on the Brady Bunch right now. Look at this. Right? It's a story of a man named Geeky raising nobody because these are full grown women and they're killing it right now. Um, you guys just got back from uh, a get together this weekend. Was it this weekend? This past weekend? This past weekend. Yeah. Um, you, you guys are so is ev literally everybody that went. Were they from Pacific Northwest? Did anybody like fly in? How, like you guys just got everybody right there, don't you? Yeah, we actually had a couple people come in. We had one lady fly in from Canada and we had another gal. She drove her motorcycle in, which was really badass. So yeah, I mean, that that's was badass awesome. for sure. Yeah. That is yeah. very cool. Um, but you guys got quite a crew then up there. Pacific Northwest, right? Mm -hmm. You guys are. We are holding it down. You are holding yeah. it down for yes. real. I, I I saw some pictures. We'll we'll grab some clips here. Um, but it looked like you guys had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. Nice. Um, so I want to backtrack a little bit. Um, I remember back. I think this was the second. Was this the first or the second uh, female mycology podcast when Missy and Susie were talking about uh, starting a little Facebook group? Uh, you know, kind of bouncing off some of the stuff we had been talking about, and they did it. And why don't uh, you guys talk about what it was like starting it, getting it going, how it how it evolved, and then maybe why don't you guys introduce some of the other ladies who are here that maybe some people don't know yet? Yeah, I'm going to let Missy take the lead on this one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Susie and, I, Susie and I have been Facebook friends for years, and we've just always talked, and we said, you know what, this would be so great. We kept talking about it. We kept talking about it. Finally, there were some catalysts that really propelled us into just saying, let's pull the plug on this. Let's just get it done. I actually had the Facebook uh group page already made but it just wasn't published and it wasn't made public and the only members were just me and Susie at one point I think Susie was just like screw it let's just do it let, let's just go with it and I said okay I'm ready to I'm ready to go um <laughs> so once we did I mean I think we identified a, a couple mods um and we just had some 
uh, you know, we, we obviously we promoted it. And so we had a slow trickle of people coming in. And I think Susie and I were just like, you know, if we could get maybe like 2000 people in this group, like that would be great. And we literally, I mean, we were not like our sites were not set super high. We didn't have any real goals at that point, except for just having a safe place for women to go to just talk about cultivation. We want to support other women. We want it to just be a really positive place and to help other women just get into this hobby. Because I mean, like we, we hold the power here, right? We want a safe space. We want people to support one another, provide education to one another. And that's really what the page was about. I mean, and I think we've been, uh, I don't know, our page has been public for how long now? And we have like over like 4,000, I think almost 5,000 members now. Yeah, yeah it's been about seven months that the Fit yep. page has been active and we're, I think at 4.6 members. And I think that honestly, when it comes down to, the, to it, we really have to attribute that to our admin and our moderator team. 100%. Because I can't speak yeah. for my, like Missy, but I know for myself, like I rely on these guys a lot and they're like approving members and they're like yeah. keeping the group active with content. They're, I mean, without that, them, the group wouldn't be what it is and they really yeah. are what makes it and we had some growing pains you know initially we had a set group of uh, moderators and uh, Susie and I were the admins and we had a little bit of a rough going with one of the mods it just there was a little bit yeah. of just you know dramas. personality differences and sure. exactly yeah. and just like we want this to be a place where you know maybe the if someone asks about a cultivation method we don't want to bash them you know uh we don't want to say you're crazy don't do that you know we want to do it in a way where we say you know Yes, you can do it like this, but we advise you to try it this method because this is what's been trusted and right. true or this is what's worked for us. Um, yeah, it just it was really coming off more as a you're doing this absolutely wrong. And that's what we absolutely wanted to avoid was, happening yeah, to our group. It was becoming what we were trying to get away from. And exactly. so we just kind of had to like backpedal a little bit, realign. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah. It's been a, it's it's been really great and it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, and I mean Maya was a, a mod from the get go. Scarlet was a mod from the get go. We have Squiggle Do, uh, Rachel, and then uh, because one of the mods we, you know, we had a little bit of a falling out. Susie and I had a little bit of a falling out. She decided to leave, and we were kind of like, well, who who do we bring on to kind of help us continue bring, making this a positive environment? Michael Mamas has been in the community and they've been just like killing it. Yeah. And not only that, but they're just, you know, just kind hearted. They're sweet. A they're really very great knowledgeable. addition. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we can't say, we can say all the great things about them. We really cannot do it without the moderators that we have in the group of admins. Scarlet fields all these posts and brings up topics, right? you know, and it, we really are a really well-greased oil, I feel like at this point. And yeah. so I just, I absolutely love our crew. Like, yeah, everybody yeah. kind of has their role in like, it's yeah. not like a stay in your lane thing, but like we're all like kind of on a mission to get things done yeah. right. and and continue building the community because that's really mm -hmm. what it comes down to at the end is creating this community, not just for us, but for all of our members. Um, we got to experience it this weekend and mm -hmm. uh, like we'll talk about in a little bit, we're hoping to watch that grow and expand. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm jealous. I, I, I I'm jealous. I wish uh, I wish I got to go to the Michael Mama's uh, uh, house, and uh, sh they were just telling us about a little get together they had, and you know, like 50 people show up. And I mean, it, it reminds me of my family back home. You guys talk amongst yourselves, like as we were getting this this geared up, and I was working on an overlay. It just sounded like I was at home listening to you know family talk. Yeah. about stuff so I, I I think it's really special what you guys got going on I think it's really smart um, right because the thing the thing I talk about all the time that really scares me is somebody comes into this community because they hear about this medicine they want to experience it they want to grow it for themselves and they get a bad taste in their mouth early on. Like, oh, this place, oh, I thought these people were nice. And oh, like, why are people acting like this? So I yeah. think it's great that, I mean, I want you guys to have 
however many if x equals the number of women who are growing and want to grow that's how many people i want in your facebook group because I, I, I don't want one trolley dude screwing it up for for everybody right. you know what i mean like this yeah. if we want the momentum to grow for what we're doing we got to come together mm -hmm. we got to we got to retain we we have to not give people a reason to go eh, nah not for me right and we have a we have a really great democratic like situation with the mods where we talk amongst ourselves there's not one person just making all the, the decisions right. for the yeah. group it's literally like a discussion. We all come to some kind of agreement on how we want to react to something or to how we want to address the situation. And then we move forward with it, with everybody on the same page. And I think that's what's really beautiful about what we have here is that we're not arguing amongst ourselves and causing a, the drama to leak into the group. Like we're trying to stop that and we have just a really, great group of women who are just very rational and who are just smart and we know what we like to see out of this group and we have all that common goal in our heads i think and so i think it works really well um amongst all of us and how we're how we're running it nice all right so we, we we've mentioned scarlet and michael mama so let's formally introduce them everybody uh you know who watches the show you guys have met Susie, you've met Maya, you've met Missy before. Um, so let, let's start with Michael Mamas. Why don't you guys quick introduce yourselves? Uh, tell us just a little bit about your, your background and, and why you're growing mushrooms. Go ahead. Uh, uh, well, I'm Mama S. This is Mama D. We've been together for 18 years. And um, we, we got long COVID in January of 2022. And we got really, really sick. And after a couple of months, um, my brain fog was so bad, I could barely speak. So my GI doc tried me on a bunch of medications and a bunch of supplements and nothing was working. And he said he was really concerned about me. He thought he, I had microclots in my brain. So he said the only other thing he could think of was microdosing psilocybin. And um, I was very concerned about that. Last time I had any mushrooms was when I was 16 and they were all squishy and gross in a bag. Right. And so I finally talked to Mama D and um, we started doing some research and we researched for a couple of weeks. And um, there's an article that was published by the National Institutes of Health, specifically talking about psilocybin for COVID brain fog. And so then everything just started coming in our paths and it just kept coming up. And um, I had another appointment with my doctor and he said, he said, uh, what do you wanna do? And I said, well, I can't go on like this. We, we, the quality of our life is too poor. So he said, um, I, I asked him, you know, if I wanted to try this, where would I get some psilocybin? And he said, well, I can't help you there. Right. So I, I called my 23 year old son. Yeah, uh, he lives on the farm with us. and. Um, I said, if somebody wanted to microdose some psilocybin, where'd they get some? And he said, I got some right here. And uh, mm -hmm. 10 days later, my my brain fog was almost gone. It was a miracle for us. So, and Mama, Mama D had the same problem. So, not, well, it was, we had both had a long COVID. Uh, I honestly thought that I was, that was it. It was over for me. I couldn't walk 10 feet. And I was short of breath and fatigued. And um, and prior to that, I was dealing with chronic fatigue in ways that I can't even go into. But um, as soon as I started microdosing, it, that all, that's all gone. Like the uh, arthritis that was forming in my joints and bones and the pain that I was in, it's history. Yeah. And so obviously we're very passionate about um, getting this out to people who are suffering and yeah, um, yeah. so it so was wait right mama d mama d you're not gonna wait yeah. for all the studies to come out to make sure no. that you're not just imagining that, that no. this is really carrying you you're what no no you're just gonna no, trust fact, you're gonna trust yourself and your own experience yes. great yes i, I am yes i am in fact and it. not only am i trusting myself but i'm surrounding myself with these beautiful people who also yeah. Uh, are trusting themselves and we're sharing our knowledge and what we do and we're already working on ways that we can you know get it out there and get people you know get it to people who really need it 
And that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. when did you start growing? So um, about uh, yesterday, three days after that. <laughs> yeah. All right, so so what is that though? How, <laughs> how, how, how long? Where are we at? Here? Uh, we started growing in April. Uh, April of the research started sooner. So as soon as the brain fog lifted, yeah, the mm -hmm. microdosing, and we realized what we were getting, we just didn't know what it was. Right. And um, we're we're like, how hard can it be to grow this stuff? We were out looking around the farm for psilocybin mushrooms, and it wasn't the right time of year, and we've got horses, not cows. So um, then, but I found some. Yeah, we, we yeah. she found she found a mushroom, and she went on an ID group, uh, a local ID group in the area, and got a um, friend request from Mushy Fungi. Yeah, and I was like, do I really want to be friends with somebody named Mushy Fungi? You know, now I've got more mushy and micro friends than I, yeah. I'm like, more the better. Right. So, but that he, was the beginning. Yeah. He invited us to his group and we did everything he said. And um, we were growing mushrooms very quickly after that. And it is uh, mushroomed since then. Yeah. And so, uh, but, and we were really fortunate because we were surrounded by some really nice guys. We were. It was the guys. Fantastic. That took guys. us in and, they were shared kind, their genetics. They were patient, young. and they just told us what to do, and we did it. But although they've told us that we're one of their better success stories because we actually did what they told us to do. It is yeah. rare right. to get so, someone to absolutely listen to you. Right. First thing Mama D did was um, next thing I know, she's out in the barn building. She's like, "We need a flow hood," and then she's coming up with the w wagon up to the front door and she's like, I'm going to need help at the door with this. And I'm like, what is it? And there's this big plywood thing. <laughs> and so I helped her, I helped her get it in our spare room and our, we decided we didn't need guests anymore. So now the whole spare room is a <laughs> mushroom room and, and we have a flow hood and um, we got, yeah. So that's awesome. So, that's but, but okay. Mamas, you didn't answer my question. Uh, are we at a year? Are we at six months? Oh. I want the number. We're, so a, we're, last April. Yeah, last Just April. So yeah, like 13, 14 yeah. months. Nice. Awesome. Oh, I, I, I love, I just had natural state mycology on. He's been growing seven months, killing it. Yeah. That's the, the I, I want people to hear this message. If you pay attention, whether you get a guru or you get a group, and you just yeah, take you the just advice know. and run with it, you'll be up and running in no time. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, Scarlett, let's hear, let's hear. I have not met you. I don't even know if you've hit my radar. Um, <laughs> your, your, your tapestry is vibrant and commanding the attention right now of, of <laughs> everybody listening. So tell us about yourself and, and kind of how, how you came to grow mushrooms. Um, so mushrooms have kind of always been a part of my life. Um, I grew up in a family that foraged, so I've kind of been foraging since I was a child pretty much. Um, and I, my interest just kind of grew as I got older. Um, and then several years ago, it kind of, um, moved into more of like the identification and taxonomy and like more of an interest in foraging and foraging finding new things and documenting things. Um, and then it just kind of naturally progressed into an interest in cultivation. Um, and I have been super, super fortunate um, to know certain people. Um, I actually, I've only also only been growing for about a year and um, I can attribute, you know, the, 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 the phase that I'm at right now with, with being able to cultivate, I can only attribute that to the support I've gotten from the myco community. And even specifically, um, Susie, we are lucky enough to, to live within a short drive of each other. Um, so she's been awesome just as far as, uh, encouraging me and supporting me and just helping me kind of uh, get through all the ins and outs and, and questions that come up. Um, that's just been like uh, su such a huge thing to me. And that's, I think, part of the reason I 
am really excited about the group is because it's been it's been so amazing to have that support and I want to provide that to other people. Nice. So, um, so why psilocybin? You could have grown any mushroom, Scarlett. Why psilocybin? What, what, (laughs) what caught your eye? Was there, you know, was there an ache you needed to, to heal? What, like, why psilocybin? Oh gosh. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely like it, it has a it has a special place in my heart, but um, more so, I just feel like it's so important for people to have access to it and for people to see that it's it can be used as a medicine. Um, I just think it can be it can help so many people that you know at this point I'm like yeah it it's helped me you know it's helped me um, get out of a severe depression. Um, it's helped me get out of, you know, bad situations and bad relationships. It kind of brings this clarity. Um, but I just, I think it's super important just for people to have access. That's like my main thing is I think people should be able to grow their own medicine. Yep. I agree. Uh, there, there are some days I wish I could grow my own little Xanax plant, but I can't. So instead... <laughs> Instead, I, you know, go mow the lawn, do fun stuff with my kids, all that good stuff. Um, I I had a fun guy mycology on not too long ago, and he made some comment to the effect of, um, I made some, I said something about a museum dose of something or other, had a lot of good euphoria to it. And he was like, well, I mean, euphoria is therapeutic. Like, if you can take a substance that will make you feel euphoric for four or five hours that, and man, I guess I knew that, but I never really formally had that thought of like, you don't have to have something wrong to benefit from something that makes you feel better. It's okay and to just feel good. Yeah. It's yeah. okay to feel right. good. Yeah. So I, I mean, Scarlett, I bring this up because what, when you're saying what you're saying, I'm like, yeah, people deserve to have access. Like there are people, I don't know about you guys, but I have a list of people, my top five list of people that I know who will never try magic mushrooms, who I wish I could just slip them some magic mushrooms basically <laughs> in their coffee. Cause I know the benefit that they would have from, from experiencing it. So yeah, the access, I think it's, it's, it's life altering. It really yeah. is. And, uh, I, fingers crossed, I think we're all going to see that magical day, uh, in our lifetimes when, it's not stigmatized like it used to be. It, it's accessible. It's high quality. Um, and hopefully we at least avoid like half of the pitfalls that happen to the cannabis industry. And I think we'll be good. All right, guys. So you, you just, you hosted an event, right? Um, not a lot of people are doing that in our community. Um, in fact, if you host an event in our community, uh, a bunch of people come to it. You pretty much can't fail at hosting an event. As you guys just found out, even in your small neck of the woods, um, why don't, uh, whoever wants to take this one, tell, tell us about the, the, how you got it together. Um, so, I mean, if you follow me and Nikki, you know that he goes out and he does these boys events or, or code events all the time. So honestly, at first it was kind of a selfish thing for me. I was like, man, I want to go hang out with some girls in the woods and like have a good time. <laughs> and, uh, I just so conveniently conveniently uh, stumbled upon a travel blog that had a camp that had all this like super trippy mushroom decor. And I was just talking amongst the group, like how cool would it be if like we went and did a camp out here? And uh, as the universe aligned all of us together, Mama S uh, mentioned like, hey, by the way, I have 18 years of retreat planning experience. Uh, I can help you with this. And we just kind of dived in from there. Like, we just put up a couple posts and made a budget and and ran with it. That's awesome, Mama S. Eighteen years of uh, retreat experience. I, I I see, I see some opportunities in your future here. Well, I um I ran a women's meditation retreat every six months for twenty years, okay. and COVID kind of put a kibosh to that. And those skills are directly transferable over to planning Myco events. She's amazing as well. Yes. 
That is great. Now, I I have seen some photos. We we will we'll have to we'll, we'll pull up some footage here. Um, but you guys, I mean, you were not just cooking s'mores around a campfire. You guys were having a good time. Why, who wants to talk about uh, pulling all the uh, like? You guys had a DJ. Yeah. yeah. Had a DJ camping. I've never Basically. had a DJ camping. So. so we had to make it educational, uh -huh. but also fun because. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yo. And most importantly, tax deductible guys. I mean, <laughs> you said you guys, that was just one long business meeting. You guys just had right there. Yep. Yeah. Yes. It was a conference. Nice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I well, did see a picture. Was... You guys had booths. You guys were there like bartering and trading and sharing. That's. What? Yeah. The generosity was amazing. Oh, like it yeah. blew me away. How, how many people just brought things to give, to give to others. Give to uh, it was like, yeah. I came home with so much swag. <laughs> yeah. Right. Nice. Yeah. It nice. really was like a Mica work conference at the end of the day. It was really, yeah. Uh, that was Lots. your your mini maps. You guys had the mini map conference. Well, I mean, we yeah. we created a schedule of events, right? So, okay. uh, Mama S worked with Susie to create kind of like a schedule of things that we were gonna do. Like we had a time on Saturday morning to do maybe do some yoga. We talked about intro to cultivation. Just kind of talked from top to bottom, uh, you know, on on how to start, where to begin. We talked about decrim legalization, uh, all everything micro related that you can think of under the, the sun. Then we also had some hands-on, um, uh, you know, approaches where Susie brought her gigantic blow hood. We hooked it up to a generator <laughs> in the yurt and we were showing folks how nice. to make like, you know, transfers. And then we gave some of the ladies an opportunity to practice, you know, making the transfers and things like that. So it was very educational and informative. And then it also was a really great way for us to all network with one another. People yeah. brought stuff. We made exchanges. We did trades. We made sales. It was yep. just a really overall super fantastic um, weekend. So. All right. How many people showed up? Um, I think we had 27, but I could be off. Yeah, there was 27 people that were registered, and then we had the DJ and Nikki and the DJ's girlfriend. I think that so it was a total of 30. Nice. Now, how so, okay, so how many people were pretty green, didn't know much about growing? Were there any like people who have never grown yet, or people that are very oh, new? Yeah. Lots, yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah, so I that, think. I think a majority of people were newer. I think we had a handful of like veteran cultivators. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. I can't even imagine. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my head around if when I was a month into this and somebody said, well, we're actually getting together in the woods. Let's, let's go hang out in, in the woods. Let's talk about mushrooms. Oh, by the way, this guy's going to bring a flow hood and plug it into a generator. My mind would have been blown. I would have been like, what? <laughs> this, I, I mean, you guys over there, I mean, the vibe in the Pacific Northwest, it's a whole nother vibe. I mean, it's yeah, progressive. I feel like this yeah. is the area where like, especially mushrooms yeah. is really like mm -hmm. a primary focus is when it comes to plant medicine. I mean, cannabis is huge here too. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, we're, we're really leading the way. I feel like. I that think is. that I think that we're just really lucky with the group of friends that we have because um as Scarlett knows, like this having a DJ in the woods is nothing new for us. That's like <laughs> kind of our norm. And I think that the Myco community has just brought some really cool people together that wanna help educate, build the community and have fun. So it's awesome. It's important to have fun, right? Like if there's a part of this I talk about this all the time because everybody on Facebook outside of ladies in my college Facebook group uh, there, it's always like, Oh, why do every time somebody talks about a sterilizer, it's, Oh, don't buy it, build it. Or, Oh, don't buy a flow hood, build it. And uh, even though there's a hundred reasons for why you should buy a flow hood, if you don't want to build it or 
You don't like pouring agar, so don't pour agar. Somebody will pour it for you. You don't like making substrate, somebody will sterilize it and send it to you. Like, it's okay, just like Susie said, it's okay to want to feel good and, and have a good time. It's okay within the cultivation practice, if there's something that you don't like doing, don't do that part of it then. Like There's a lot of okay. really great people that are, sorry to interrupt you, but yeah. like, that's kind of one thing that we talked about is there's a lot of like really smart, talented people that are doing those things. Like, oh, you're yeah. scared of agar. Like this person does agar, you know, oh, you're scared of doing grain bags. Like go get them from this guy. And like, I mean, it's okay to outsource those things. Like it is, we all only have so much time. And if you've been doing mycology for any amount of time, you know, it's incredibly time consuming and to do all those little steps yourself. Like, I mean, it's a lot and it's, and there's people yeah. doing their, doing it for you and why not support them by, by taking those things off your plate. Right. And it's always the, what is your real agenda? It, are you here to become a cultivator or are you here because you need access to the medicine, but you don't just want to buy it from some random person? If you're that person, then you should only do the amount of the cultivation that you really absolutely want to do. And it's okay to try it out and then go, this was fun. It was neat. I'm glad you learned how to do that. But now I've met some people I can actually, you know, get my microdoses from. I don't I don't need to grow. Maybe once in a while I'll feel like doing it. But everybody should be free to do whatever they want. It's not like the world's going to turn into a world of cultivators. Right? right? We are right. we are those people, but not everybody's going to be those people. That's fine. Right. So you you and uh Mr. Raymond are uh you guys are just doing it. You guys are making it fun, getting the message out, helping people. Um, I, I feel like you guys really embody a lot of what uh, Susie and, and Missy were, were looking for. What are you seeing in the Facebook group you think that you can attribute the success of it to? Um, I think uh, one thing that I really wanted to do that I saw in a different ladies group um, that had gotten shut down before we started all of this was they had the spore bank. And so mm. I like part, my kind of part is, um, I created this spore bank. So we just give and trade and there's no sales whatsoever. And, um, and so that way people can, it's wonderful. Cause you get to, you watch people all the time, just be like, Oh, I have that. And da, 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 da. And we're just like, everyone's helping everyone. And it's like such a great community for that. Um, and then, um, we have a Wednesday post where people can promote their own businesses. Um, and so I post that as well. And, um, that's just kind of like my part as well as like maintaining comments and doing all those sorts of things and, um, recommending, you know, different things that you can do in the process of mycology and all that sorts of stuff. So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you, all you guys are real good cultivators. You, you guys all are business women. And in my head, I'm going, all right. So it's a, what's unique about this Facebook group is instead of it being, this is my Facebook group for my business and me, 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 which is fine. I mean, I understand that doing a Facebook group for that reason, but you guys by kind of taking one step back and going, I want a space for women and bringing all these women together, experienced growers who really know what they're doing. You, you figured out how to not step on each other's toes by focusing on the community and the connection and kind of, yeah. you know, like a good basketball team, figure out who's good at the jump shots, who's good at, you know, getting in the paint, right? You guys kind of figured out everybody's area of expertise and uh, seems great. Uh, I mean, a spore bank, are you serious? Some of the other things we're doing, like Squiggledoo is so important. Squiggledoo Watson is so important to our group. And she, half the stuff she writes, I have to go look up words because she's very technical. Yeah. And um, she does a, she's the one that does the foraging feature each week, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. we have a foraging feature. We just got finished with a, um, a six part series called um, Psychonaut Study Series. And we had, each week we focused on something like, 
Um, the first week was articles and the second week was documentaries and the third week was podcasts and the fourth week was um, movies that have mushroom themes. And we did one week that was just m mushroom memes for fun and stuff like that. So we try to, and then we're posting, we're pinning those posts. So we have a data bank of, of information that people can go and read. And then we're building our guide section. So each of us are making videos, instructional videos that we're loading up to the guide section. And then we put posts there for um, outside links as well. So we're trying to bring all that information into one place so that we can direct people towards the guide section. Um, I think the the um, the most exciting thing we've got going, can I talk about the next step of what we're doing? So um, we really love the idea of the camp out. And, you know, when we had the picnic too, and then people from all over the world were saying, we want to have one. When are you coming to Florida to run a camp out here? And when are you coming to, if you want to come to the UK, we'll, you know, we run a camp out here. So we can't do that. <laughs> we can't. Um, so what we decided to do this just a couple days ago is we're going to make um, subgroups of ladies of mycology for each individual state. And it's going to be um, a just a community group. So it isn't going to be focused on cultivation or answering mycology questions or anything like that. It's just going to be, okay, here's ladies of mycology, Nevada. And all the gals in Nevada can join that group so they can get to know who their neighbors are and then they can start planning social events and they can get together face to face. Because I think that more than anything, our group is about community yeah. and yeah. getting those people together so they can talk about activism and talk about growing and talk about whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's that kind of... That's kind of always been my vision and my goal for the group is community building and creating a space where women are supporting women and, and just in breaking the stigmas, educating people on what we're doing and, and just continuing to grow that network, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And it's, it gives me goosebumps when I think about it, but we are powerful in numbers and like listening to Lauren talk this weekend and like all the work that she's done. I mean, that's something that I want to be involved in. And like, I wouldn't have known about without this camp out, you know, and if we continue to get together and, and, and build those communities, like we can really make a difference in this journey of decrim and, and access. And that's, that's my personal goal. And, and I think all these ladies are kind of on the same page as far as that yeah, vision. Absolutely. Yeah, I think yeah. there was a one point, there was one point on Saturday when we're all sitting around talking and I mean, uh, hippie and a veteran Lauren, yeah. was there talking about all the work that she's doing on the front for getting access for veterans to ethnogens. And then my, my co mama is talking about like mushroom revolution. And I right. literally was like wanting to go. Rah, yeah. Rah. Yes. Like, yes. It, was so, it felt yes. so empowering and knowing that you have just a bunch of just like smart badass women who yep. also want the same things yeah you know it's just incredible to see it just and, and the wide you know variety of women yeah who are in our group you know we have professionals we have yep. you know people who do this full-time for a living or I, you know maybe they're just they're just dab they're just starting to dabble in it I mean it's just amazing that so yeah. many people from different backgrounds are yeah. coming together because we believe in this this important important medicine right and for so many different reasons there was also a hospice nurse there talking about her advocacy work for uh, end of life care and like how beneficial that is and it's just I, when we get together we get to learn more and educate ourselves and then yeah. when we educate ourselves we can help spread those messages as well so um it's it's awesome it's super awesome and i'm excited about you know it's going to be awesome to see every single state have their own meetup and see all of this, you know, connect and branch out. And the chapters the that, I mean, that is yeah. so smart. Yeah. That is great. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> oh yeah. We have a, a group of gals in the UK that want, they're like, when do we get to start our group? So yeah. yep. we're working on it. Man, you guys, what are you not doing? 
You got chapters coast to coast. You guys are, yeah. I mean, this is great. This is great. This, I, I really, everybody who's watching, you can just sit in your basement and grow mushrooms, or you can do that plus one more thing. That one more thing can be getting involved in your local decriminalization movement. It can be, you know, starting, if you're a woman, it can be starting your local chapter of ladies in mycology. If you're a guy, it can be, I mean, us guys, we're kind of sad. Do you want to know what our Facebook, you guys know what our Facebook groups look like, right? We don't have Monday <laughs> night, um, you know, we don't have a squiggle do who, who's, you know, doing here, here, I'm going to teach you about this and programming and all that. I'm not going to lie. Like I do, a, I think a lot about programming with the podcast but I feel like I'm I'm the only one thinking about that. Then then the Myco Game Show comes out, and I'm like, oh my god, this is what I want. I want more people to be slotting and programming, so that people really feel like at any given night there's something I can watch on, on the internet somewhere. But you guys are doing that in your Facebook group. You guys have stuff going on different days. You have you've assigned roles. This is all higher level work than is usually happening in most of the Facebook groups I've been in. So congratulations for you guys. Uh, I, I expect nothing less than that sort of behavior from a bunch of smart women who know why they're doing this work. I was just going to say, Geeky, we're getting ready to actually start a revolution, too. So, And that's going to bring in the guys. That's going to bring in everybody. Um, a lot of the cultivators here and uh, cultivators from other Places. We're just going to bring everybody together and we're going to start spreading the word and we're going to do what we're doing with the ladies of mycology, but we want to take it to the next notch. So nice. stay tuned for that. We're working on the details. Here's why I love that. When I first started this podcast, I remember one of the very first comments on the very first video was this guy's a fed. No one would show their face. This guy's fake. He's never grown mushrooms. He's a cop. I mean, this guy went on like 50 message rant. And uh, I'm just sitting there sad, like, man, this guy just doesn't get what I'm doing here. He doesn't get why I'm doing this. I, I'm showing my face because this, it shouldn't be illegal. This is normal. I mean, this right. is the amount of stuff that I throw in people's mouth every day. I know the side effects of that stuff. I know what it does to people. And I know how I feel after, you know, you, you know having a, a trip. I, I, I'm clear, I'm good, I'm improved. Right. I am not worse for wear. I'm not suffering a bunch of side effects. I'm not saying that science has never found, there's some super rare stuff that's coming, coming you know, up in some of the research, but generally speaking, this is about as safe as it gets. And uh, yep. it absolutely should not be schedule one. Lauren's and her people are working on that right now. Yes, um, yes. You know, I, I sleep just fine at night. I don't know about you guys. Yes. I, I love yeah. what I'm all about and what I'm doing. And I can tell you guys do too. And man, I I know there's going to be more campouts. I know you guys are, this is only, you guys are just getting revved up right now. I can tell. I just had a physician reach out to me for a patient. Wow. If that tells you how far it's coming. So oh, yeah. That's amazing. The word's getting out. People are recognizing the research is starting to come out, you know. So I think we think this is the answer to our mental health issue in the world. And we've 100%. got a really significant issue right now. And there are so many people that are desperate for this medicine. Yeah. So we've yeah. we've got an obligation to do something about that. And yeah. since we know what we're doing, we have to. We have to. It's like those movies, uh, you know, the aliens are coming, right? And the little boy is riding his bike, and he sees the aliens first, right? And he runs into town. Guys, 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 aliens are coming, right? Trying to get the word out. I always feel like that's what all the people in this community right now are doing is speaking up, saying, yep, yep. This, this is the stuff does this and the, the science is now slowly trickling in and uh, science is looking exactly like I thought it was going to look. And I, I'm, I'm really excited for, for what all of us are going to experience. I'm definitely excited for you guys. Uh, I couldn't 
be more impressed that you guys are i mean i didn't know you guys are doing the programming and and all that kind of stuff so that's that's amazing so ladies if you're watching and you're not already on this uh if you're not on facebook and you're not ladies in mycology <laughs> you should be you might give it have to give us a day or two to uh get to all those membership requests but but we'll get answer to you. Questions. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Answer the questions. Yeah, answer the questions. Yeah, that's a that's a big one. Now, so okay, you just got me thinking. So, how many guys are trying to sneak into this group? Do you guys <laughs> it, even worry the, about that? Yeah, it, they definitely try. I've Do seen they? a handful of myself. Yeah. yeah, where I'm just immediately like, yeah, you're not a lady. Yeah. Decline. yeah. Is there or, a is there a question? Is there like a lady test question? I want to hear this. <laughs> what is the lady test question? I don't know. I mean, I'm That's curious. How do you just it's, know? It's are you a woman? <laughs> we do. Or we do a lot. As a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do a lot of vetting though. We yeah, take we, we really yeah, take yeah. time to to vet and search around. And um, a lot of us are in a lot of different like scam groups and just all these other sorts of right. groups and stuff and so we check in on those and just kind of make sure that everything is legit and yeah wow we're really protective of our little group that, i just <laughs> can't believe yeah. that there are guys who are like no i'm getting in i want to know <laughs> like oh, yeah. that cracks me. i declined one this morning <laughs> yeah. see they just i mean i'm so on the flip side at one point during uh our, our segment here i was thinking to myself man i can there just be a ladies of mycology for guys page like i <laughs> i want to i want a facebook group where people are kind and supportive and and helpful and there's you know it's curated and there's programming and yeah that sounds yeah. good there should Got, be yeah, yeah co-ed groups I, take take note this sounds like this is how how it's it's gonna have to be done from here on out i feel like there's so much potential for these groups but there's yeah. I mean, it, and and i don't want to say like our group is perfect i mean i feel like we're pretty close like we're yeah uh, we're great but i mean nothing's perfect we have had growing pains we have had to address some issues and, you know, honestly, like our biggest thing is like, we want to just, we want to spread the education and we want to help people, women cultivate, you know, there's a million other groups out no there. No matter what that looks like though. That's the exactly. thing. It yep. doesn't matter if they're yep. using oven tech, uncle Ben's mm -hmm. rice tech. Yeah. I mean, yeah. no we matter how there is no shaming for anything people yep. do, because at the end of the day, what, what we always come back to is we don't know what people have access to. Yep. We don't know what their situations are. And if they're getting medicine, go for it. Like, who are we to tell them how yeah. to grow? We can tell them like what the best practices are in tried and true ways, mm -hmm. but if they're successful in what they're doing, that's amazing. And that's yeah. what we try to support and encourage. Yep. So. Exactly. I like that. And yeah. there, there's It'd a be... lot of pages out there also. And we're always just of the opinion that like, we're trying our best. You know, if this one does not fit you, there's another group out there that fits you. Yeah. yeah, but so far I think I feel like we have a just a wonderful group of women who are just yeah. super understanding and supportive. So yeah, yeah, I was gonna say being a being a mod and other groups, um, this group is like there's like no drama. We like hardly ever have to like actually really actually address anything to anyone. Right. I mean, like you know, we have like of course we have to delete comments every once in a while and stuff, but there's no actual real like like shit going on. <laughs> Yeah. yeah it's really we're, nice we're very noble like our mod group and yeah. admin group we're very noble we don't like to mess around we don't like the drama we like to squash things right away so yeah. and it's been working and i feel like that translated through into the the wow. camp out as well i feel like yeah. it was very very no drama very yeah. like everyone was very chill and just kind and generous and and so it amazing all, all about the it love. all came through yeah all about the love yeah. yeah so you just said something that um i really liked hearing i think Susie just said we don't care how you're growing we want to support it we don't care if you're doing uncle ben's we don't care if you're using oven tech i love that um yeah every time i have somebody on the show that's doing an unorthodox tech or what's considered one of the lower techs right 
it's always a handful of people got to message me. Oh, well, I don't really know why you had him on and he was doing oven tech and you know, I did that and it didn't work. And I'm just like, for you. Right. Exactly. Yeah, for you. Cool. Yeah. Great. I'm glad you have the ability. Like you could just right away go buy a flow hood or you had the space yeah. for one or you had the technical know-how to build one, whatever it is. Some people don't. Correct. Yeah. It's okay. And, like, yeah, and, you're and then supporting we have... people wherever they're at and whatever they're doing. That is yeah. very yes. unique. Yeah. And we have such an eclectic group of people that are doing so many different texts and stuff that um, even if like we aren't doing that, there's someone in the group or multiple people in the group that are successful with those texts. And so they're able to give really valid advice on yeah. those, those sorts of things. Um, even though we may not personally like recommend right. that sort of tech. Right. Yeah. I think sometimes you know we what forget I, I, where we started from and we have to like humble right. ourselves and remind <laughs> yeah. ourselves, yeah. Hey, I started at, you know, PF tech, or I started at UB tech, or I started working in front of my oven because I didn't know how to make a still air box or, you know, how to get a hold of a flow hood, you know, couldn't afford one or whatever it is. Like we're just, we, we've, we just really need to remind ourselves, like we also started somewhere at one point in time. I think that that's something that was really beautiful about the camp out too, is because everybody showed up authentically. Everybody showed up where they were in their true form and true self. And so that's something that kind of carried over from the group. And that was a really beautiful experience to watch unfold as well. So, yeah, you know, one cool. thing that I see, the one thing that I see in our group that, um, kind of makes me sad every time I see a post like this, but somebody will post something and they'll say, Hey, um, I have a question about this and please don't jump on me and please, right. please don't, yes. don't roast me. And, yep. but I just, I just don't know what I'm doing and can I have some help with this? And you know, the, Oh, and, um, I know this is a stupid question. They say things like that. Right. And the first thing we tell them is there's no stupid there's questions no. here yeah. and nobody will ever jump on you for anything, no matter what you're doing. Yep. So just it's safe place for you to ask whatever question you need to ask and you will get a kind answer. Yep. What a novel yeah. idea. What well, I mean, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, I mean really, I like can you that, imagine, right? can you imagine if the shroomery was a third grade teacher? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you tie your shoe. <laughs> I mean, like, so clearly the goal, I mean, the shroomery is not a, is not an educational website. That is just a forum for certain people to show off the new thing that they did. Like, look at this exotic way that I just screwed this. And that has been resourceful and useful for a lot of us. I'm not saying that I've never gotten yeah. anything good out of it, but it is not there to teach new people how to grow mushrooms. Um, R.I.P. So, if you're a newbie on the shroomery. Like, good luck. You're done. <laughs> you're done, son. Good luck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I don't even waste my time. That's, that's, a, that's like a, that's a dude to my college right there. That's a private group for sure that yeah. just happens to let you look at their posts and God forbid you post anything. I, I just had a guy uh, post in, in one of my channels saying he was going to do something. I knew for a fact it wouldn't work. You know what I said instead, instead of dumb idea or that won't work in my head, I said, I wonder if he could pull it off. I wonder right. if there's a way yeah. you could make that work. So I said, dude, let us know. FAFO. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even exactly. say, I didn't even say, I don't think it'll work. I didn't even say I don't recommend you doing that. Yeah. Nine times out of ten on the internet, nobody's going to do it anyway. Yeah. So who cares? Yeah, try it. We just call them FAFO and report back. Yeah, FAFO let us know. and report Come back. Exactly. New. Yes. Because you don't know what that, you don't, different perspectives on the same topic are going to get handled completely differently, right? So you just, you just never know. It's never know. Why do you need to squelch people's creativity? They want to play. They want, this is how they're having fun. Yeah. Even when people don't listen to my advice and try it a different way, sometimes I'm like, oh, that was very creative. It's not going to work, but I, I appreciate the creativity in that. I mean, they're not hurting anybody. The they're worst thing. That, yeah. Yeah. 
the worst thing that's going to happen is it's not going to work and then they go back to the drawing board. Right. right. Exactly. Well, why not? And it's, it's mycology. It's science. You're supposed to experiment with science anyway. So there you go. Why not? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Why not? And man, I don't know about you guys, but between the seasons and the regions, um, the stories I'm hearing, right? It's what might not work for you literally might work for, for the guy three streets down for a reason yeah. we still don't even know. Right. Right. If you live in a hundred year old house and you say, you know, you do the traditional post, is this cobweb mold? It might be in a hundred year old house in, in a brand new subdivision house. Probably not. It's it just that environment and the, the, the climates and oh, so many variables to this that it's, it, I, I guess the message I'm trying to, beat to death is you always need to find out what works for you that you enjoy doing that's successful that's within your yeah. your means but when you find that that is not necessarily how scarlet's gonna do it how missy's gonna do it how either of the michael mamas is gonna do it Susie, maya everybody can do it completely differently and at the end of the day they can all show a killer picture of their most recent flush. So the results end up being the same. So who cares? Like, I also um, want to mention Rachel. She's a really important part of our group too. She does a lot of work. She answers us so many questions and she's so patient with everybody. And she will step, she'll step through somebody's whole process. She'll take, she'll tell them if they've got a problem, she's like, okay, let's start at the beginning. And then she will have a back and forth conversation with them yeah. for days to yeah. get to yeah. where the issue is and help them get on a successful grow. So I, I adore her. I was sorry that she couldn't make it to camp out either, but I'm looking forward to having her at one of our future events. So every single one of the mods is the, the mods admins. Oh, and we just added another one, another mod this weekend. Um, oh, and we've got a, uh, uh, nature nerd too so we've got two more mods that we added because it's a lot of work oh, it's yeah. a lot of work reading through every single post making sure everyone's playing nice making sure everybody's following the rules we're very much a stickler for you got to follow the rules so that's what keeps it a nice place to play i, I tell you what when i got on discord i had a buddy who uh co-modded uh, a a discord server that I, I was modding in and he said guys you these rules you gotta stick to them like there's no tomorrow like you cannot budge and you gotta leave politics out and you gotta leave religion out and you, all the classic hot button topics like you, there is no room for that stuff because man especially on Facebook if you have a drama free Facebook group you are it's it's a a slight miracle right <laughs> it's a miracle and it's only miraculously uh drama free because you guys have established a clear set of expectations you got a bunch of people like rachel squiggle do watson scarlet everybody just on it and setting the tone that mm -hmm. setting the tone is is crucial and that and being unwavering in that tone like not well, today, since I'm the, the owner of the server, I'm going to, you know, talk about what I want to talk about. And then it throws everything off and it just goes in the toilet. I've watched that happen in servers. And you guys, I'm sure you've been in big groups. The bigger it gets, the harder it gets. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. my Discord at 400 people was an absolutely special, miraculous, amazing, joyful place. And then I said, well, I got to, you know, it's got to have a place for all my disc or for all my uh, YouTube people. So I'm going to open it up and uh, it's still good. But the bigger it gets, the harder it gets, the bigger it gets, the you can't keep up with everything. It gets the, the pace is, is different and it, it becomes a challenge. Um, you, it, you know, what I think is a little different about our group is um, I will see members of our group, not mods, not admins say hey i don't think that's that goes with the rules of our group yeah they'll make a comment mm -hmm. on yeah. that and they will alert us to it so we don't and or they'll they'll de-escalate something 
Right. And it's not mods. It's yeah. members of our group. Yeah, yeah. and then and then two months later, you ask them to be a mod because they're exactly doing, they're doing mod yeah. work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how you get the mod job is by yep. showing people that that's what you're all about. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I got man. I I got a couple mods who keep me on my toes. Oh, uh, do, are you sure you want to word it quite like that? I deleted your comment just because. Like, okay, thank you, dude. <laughs> keep, keep me on my toes. I'm not always I'm not always thinking it all through. So, um, the it's really all about the mods. I keep trying to get my mods on. It's it's a challenge. I'm impressed, you guys. I got literally six people here tonight. This is I I have not been able to achieve that yet. So one one day, hopefully soon. Um. All right. So, it, uh, future camp out. Anything yeah. in the books? Any anything at least brewing? Um, we've got a couple things brewing. Um, potentially in October and maybe sometime in December. So we're nice. still we're still working out the details uh, on all of it right now. All right, ladies of mycology, book your plane tickets. Get ready. You got you got to use up some airline miles. Get out there. Um, where where in Canada did your uh, Canadian person come from? Like how far did they come from? Did they just come across Ma the Manitoba. border? Manitoba. Manitoba. I know we had one from Manitoba. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the other one from Victoria. Yeah. But you don't need to book your plane ticket because it's not us. It's going to be in your sure. state. Yeah. Sure. We're gonna help these. We're going to mm -hmm. uh, designate admins in each state. We're going to train them how to run their own successful camp out, how to make their own picnic, how to get these gals together for dinner. Maya was the one that kind of started this with a with a get together right in our area. Yes. And yeah, I then, tried and um, failed a couple of times and then they decided to have one with all of the with family and it worked out pretty well. <laughs> I was trying to get yeah. like just ladies like no kids and stuff because it's nice to have uninterrupted conversations <laughs> right well and then and then Maya con Maya and Ray contacted us and they were like yeah we should get together so we invited them to our farm because they only live 30 minutes from us and uh yeah. Lauren only lives 30 minutes from us and so uh Mama D was a little concerned when because we had never had anybody to our farm that was into mycology and so I said, you know, we're going to have them over and we're going to have them over for the day. And, and we were still in the closet. We, we were, so, you know, not right. with the, the mycology, mycology closet, right? Mycology yeah. closet. So yeah. nobody knew. And so we kept like looking out at the front gate and I said, well, it's either going to be a minivan full of a family and kids or it's going to be the white DEA van. I don't know which one. <laughs> and fortunately, it was the minivan full of the family and the kids. So yeah. the, fear, the fear is open. The white. Sorry. <laughs> the fear is real. You know, I mean, there's a, and this is why it's another reason it's so important to be part of this group because there is power in numbers. Yeah. And, yeah. um, you know, it's a safer place to be when you know if something happens, if something something were to happen to us because we're making our own medicine for our own use, then I know I've got 5,000 women yeah. at my back. Yeah. And probably, and the men or whoever's behind those women. So, you know, we just got to keep growing this thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember the first time I had a, a myco friend over to the house and my wife was like, you can't have those myco people, you don't know. And I'm like, you don't know the myco people like I do. I'm, I mean, sure, there are some, <laughs> some loose cannons. I'm not inviting them over to the house. Don't you worry. Like I'm, I, I can assess human beings, I think, pretty well. But yeah, there, there's always that concern. But I, I think Mama D brings up a good point, which is not only for the advocacy of what we're doing, but really, um, right? Like, it, it, you know, if you're trying to shoot a clay pigeon and you're trying to shoot one, you can do that. Right. If they send up a hundred clay pigeons, what one are you gonna shoot at? Right. So then you just don't even try. So I, I, I hope that more people continue to give this a go. Um, man, I'm talking about it at work 
almost without fail every day to at least one or two people. Um, and people are pretty open minded about it. Um, yeah. uh, you know, whether it's medical cannabis or I'm just saying, hey, you get the Michael Pollan book or, oh, hey, you got Netflix, you should watch the show. And, you know, just kind of opening that can of worms for people a little bit. And most people are pretty chill about it, honestly. I think there's a stigma, but then I think there's also a stigma about just really telling people how you really feel about it. I think most yeah, people are just afraid to open their mouths and say, I'm cool with this. Yeah. But you guys are all doing that. Everybody that comes on the show is doing that. If we all just keep doing that, I I think that'll that's the way to go. That's funny you say that because at the camp out, we had a very similar conversation. It was a smaller group of the women that were there. And they were just like, you know somebody who probably is into mushrooms yeah. or is has access to it somehow. And it's just, right. it's because we're all so hush hush and mm -hmm. we don't want to talk about it that we don't realize that maybe our neighbor down the road or someone yeah. down the block is, mm -hmm. you know, growing mushrooms or is- Or, or Mama D's supportive. son. Yeah. Right. Mama D, yeah. go through her side. Right. Oh, hey, we, where we can I get that? that? Here you go. Here you go. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I just had a friend's sister, a friend of, a really good friend of mine, her sister, her baby sister, found my Instagram and she messaged me on my personal uh, Facebook page mm -hmm. and she goes, Is that your Instagram with all the mushrooms on it? And I go, Maybe. 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 Who's asking? <laughs> And then we wow. had a big long, and the, you know, we, I called her on the phone. We had a big long conversation about, she's just like microdosing has been amazing. She also suffers from ADHD mm -hmm. and is trying to get off of her Adderall. You know, right. Michael Geeky, you and I have had this conversation oh, yeah. about how it's helped us a lot. Microdosing has helped us a lot with our ADD. And she is kind of going through a similar thing. Like Adderall makes her angry and just like weird and she's just trying to get off of it and microdosing has been helping her slowly get off of her Adderall. And so again, you don't really know unless you are more open about so talking I mean, about it. You just don't know. No one's talking about it. No one's everybody, talking. It's, yep. a, it's like a big little just, secret we'll that everybody has. Yep. Yeah. I, I can tell you this. I'm sure you guys know this. Um, if, if you're in the mycology business and you're shipping things, you know, and, and you're shipping them to addresses. I don't know about you, but I I ship my thing that I ship costs a few hundred bucks. So I make sure every address I get on Etsy is a real address that looks like it's going to an actual place. Um, Cause I'm not going to get this whole, yep, delivered and then have somebody say to me, I never got it. So I check all my addresses and let me tell you right now. And, and I've gotten to know a lot of people who do this, uh, who buy sterilizers from me. I have sold to every type of person you can possibly imagine. I'm sure you guys have sold. I'm sure Nikki and Susie and Missy and Maya. Um, and I'm sure Michael Mamas and Scarlett are figuring it out. Um, multiple doctors, multiple lawyers, multiple law enforcement, mm -hmm. you name it. There is nobody. There's no type of person. I mean, if I haven't sold to a priest yet, I don't think, but that wouldn't surprise <laughs> me either, to tell you the truth. We're everywhere. And, everywhere. and yeah. yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. So. Um, so we're doing it, guys. This is great. You guys are killing it. Um, so excited. So proud of you guys. So happy to, to hear this is all working out. I'm just thinking back to when when Susie messaged me or I forget if it was Susie or Missy first but one of you guys was like yeah I think we want to do this announcement we think we're going to do we're going to start a Facebook group and I mean mm -hmm. success story of course you guys you guys know how to run a, a, a smooth smooth sailing ship so if if there are any women watching the show get on Facebook you're probably already there Get on Ladies in Mycology, answer the questions, get vetted, don't act like a dude, and you'll get in. And then don't act like a fool, and you'll get to stay. Um, and and I, I think you guys serve as a great example of this. It's really just a matter of, can you do one more thing than just grow mushrooms? Can you, can you mod a group? Can you start something? Can you start small and vend something because you think you're particularly good at something? 
but figure out a way to to go beyond just being in the community but contributing to the community because the community is going to grow and there's going to need to be a lot more mods and a lot more people who do take these minor or major leadership roles and if we're not there to support it it's just going to be people floating in the ether and not able to connect to stuff so um yeah i i, I applaud you guys for for doing that extra thing um you guys are making i'm positive with almost 5,000 members you guys are making a really big difference for a lot of people you're supposed to tear up and cry and go <laughs> I, I, hear. I mean don't you guys get those stories yeah don't people message you and say, you like just like yeah. wow people will post on the group and just say wow i've never been part of a group that's just so nice and people are so supportive and i <laughs> love this group and susie and i talk about it all the time we're just like it's mind blowing, honestly. Yeah. 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 We're yeah. always just so just happy to hear it. You know, we had a little bit of, you know, something that we had to address. We had a little bit of a little drama, not too much, but we wanted to make it clear, you know, remind everybody again, you know, this is this is what we're trying to do. This is our main goal with this group and the amount of support that yeah. we get, you know, when we're just when we're saying, hey, we are going through a little bit of growing pains please bear with us you know um and the amount of support and love that we get from the ladies who are part of the group is just um it makes me so incredibly happy every single yeah. time i see it and it just yeah. it makes me so happy that we just ripped that band-aid off and we we did it because it's just it's incredible to be part of that's hard though right <laughs> i mean uh -huh. i didn't want to boot anybody ever and then yeah. finally somebody told me like they're clearly not going yeah. they don't want to follow any of these rules they don't it's never gonna work out and then we once i kicked one out i was like oh you're right now it doesn't even take two comments get them though out of here. Wood, like, i don't think we've actually had to remove anybody but we've been so diplomatic with other people and they've tried to be the aggressor with us where they would just be like you know what we're leaving i'm leaving and i'm like that's fine that's your prerogative Yes. <laughs> yeah. The door is later. open. If this group is not fitting your needs, there are yeah. it's it's been really nice. It's the vibe has been really like over oh, we've the issues that we've had are so small in comparison yeah. to yeah. all of like the triumphs. Like yep. uh because yeah. Maya has been so amazing with doing that yeah. uh the spore bank, like it's been cool to be able to see people growing their fr first mushrooms with spores that they got from yes. the spore bank, yes. you know, yeah. and just like yeah. those journeys and that, and that's been really fun. So yeah, people do share like, Hey, like before I got in here, I, I was struggling and I was having trouble figuring it out. But like with the help of the community, I've been able to find my path. And, and that first flush. Yeah, yeah. My first yeah. flush. My yeah. favorite yeah. stories. I love the ones where they show you this like huge canopy and they're like, look, my it's first, my first flush. flush. <laughs> we're like, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Or it's this it's one. The it's little my first yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Those are my favorite. <laughs> You're like Next a proud parent. parent. You know, yeah. we're just like all yeah. proud parents where we're just like, right. Good job. You did it. We're so proud of you. <laughs> my favorite thing to hear is when people say, mushrooms saved my life. Yeah, I, it's, I, I feel like it's so relatable for so many people too, who are, who are cultivating yeah. or, I mean, involved in any way in the myco community. I hear that from so many people and it's amazing. Wait, is this a mushroom podcast? <laughs> Do we like mushrooms? <laughs> Dude, yeah. I'm telling you, you bit. know, Susie and Maya and myco mamas. Y'all are lucky. Missy and I, we got spouses that just really don't want to listen to too much mushroom stuff. So that's why I got to do this podcast. Scarlett as uh, well. Her partner is no. like foraging expert. <laughs> oh, he is a foraging expert. Oh, yeah. can I give a yeah, can so, I give a shout out? Yeah. Can I give a little shout out to my amazing partner, Brycelium Myco? He nice. is he is as much of a mushroom nerd as I am, and I'm very fortunate for that. We so we lucky. have a so lot lucky. in common. Yeah, so that just connected for me that you guys are yeah. partners. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I didn't realize that. That's yeah. Incredible. 
They're like the cutest Michael couple that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> really gross. <laughs> okay, Michael Romance. That's going to be the podcast spinoff soon, guys. Yeah. Where it's going to be a Michael <laughs> Romance go. dating. I yeah, love it. Be, they try to grow mushrooms together. Can they mo can can they get to their second flush or can they get to the altar? <laughs> Someday. Oh my gosh. I, I keep funny. joking uh that one day there'll be just like a mycology network. It'll just be one of the channels, right? You just flip on this one of the channels. So many people obsessed with mushrooms. You're gonna produce it, right? Event, yeah, sure, of course, okay. yes. I'll, I'll be executive producer for that network. Yes, yeah. In my fantasy, that's what I will do. That's that will be my dream job. Yeah. All right, ladies. Well, this was great. Um, surely not going to be the last time you guys will be on. Um, anytime you got an event coming up, um, if you want to do a little plug, let me know. We'll we'll do the plug. I'm I'm trying to do. My hope is that. The beginning of the podcast, you know, if there's like little news coming up and stuff like that, and, and people want to promote events and whatnot, we can we'll just get that message out there. I want to, you know, try to network, try to keep everybody informed and in the know of what's going on. So, yeah, feel feel free to do that. the The door will always be open for that. And Michael Mamas, the revolution, I'm ready for it. I'm, I yeah. I, I will hey, be part of the propaganda machine for that. We should take advantage of this moment to give a plug to the fireside. What was it? The four. So another thing, um, Lauren, Lauren brought up a uh, crisis hotline. So yeah. it's a fireside, fireside project. project. So if you okay. take some mushrooms and you have a bad trip or you have a problem, these people are there for you. Okay. Um, they are professionals and they can help talk you off the ledge should you need in, it in, in integration if it's been three weeks since you had your trip and something comes up and you need a professional to talk to they are there and volunteer their time all right the psychedelic peer support line sponsored yep, yep. by fireside project um you can text or call 62 fireside yep. 62 fireside easy to remember the more people that we educate, the more people that are taking this medicine, there are going to be need for more integration. More integration. So that's great. I just want to thank Susie and Missy for having the vision to start this in the first place because yeah. it's been it's reached so many people and we've made so many wonderful friends and wonderful connections. And you know, we're going over to the Mayas and raise on saturday for their kids birthday party and I and it's just we're, we feel really really grateful that um these guys let us let us in their circle and let us help out we Aww. couldn't do it without you guys, <laughs> yeah honestly. no not at all the group would not be what it is without you guys so i mean all the love right back to you guys mm -hmm. seriously 100 percent thank you now we're all gonna tear up now no, yeah. no. <laughs> thank you don't cry don't cry don't cry <laughs> <laughs> well i think I'm it's not crying you're crying <laughs> i think it is beautiful and i think it's only gonna get more beautiful -er. so that's um, what, yeah. what, what that meme faith put up on the for when she was going to the camp out <laughs> get in and go do some crying. We're going crying. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for being here. I I, I know it's a, a struggle. It's a struggle to ask one person to, to come on the show. It's definitely a logistic nightmare to try to get multiple people on. Seems like you more or less, you know, pulled it off extremely well. Someday maybe we'll get Rachel and Squiggle do on. Um, but for, for the time time being, this is great. And uh, you know we'll we'll probably ride out here with with a little. Um, I, I know Michael Mama's uh, sent me some photos and some videos and all that. So we'll probably ride out with a little little montage of their get together. And uh, until next time, I wish you guys well. And uh, everybody, go check. Hey guys, don't you dare, don't you dare try to get in their group. It's not for you. We guys, we get enough crap. We got plenty of stuff. You don't feel don't need to feel left out. But if you're a woman, get on in there. Give it a try. See what's up. They, these 
I'm telling you, lots of knowledge here. There's no knowledge that a guy grower has that these women do not have. There's there's nothing you're missing. You're you're gonna learn how to be amazing growers. Every other it seems like every 15 minutes, Michael Mamas has got another flush that's just making me be like, <laughs> whoa, for real. It's a shame, man. Yeah, it's they're shame. Yeah. killing it. So yeah. All right. So thanks again. And uh, until next time. All right, guys, ladies of my ecology Facebook group in the house, the founders, the mods, some of my friends, some, some people I just got to know for the first time that seemed pretty amazing. So it's a real topic. How you make a Facebook group great uh, on a platform that seems to thrive on argumentation and trolling and sensationalism and things like that. So anyway, they're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. Um, all right, guys, uh, got a lot of exciting guests coming up here. Uh, man, Geeky is dying to tell you some of the people I got coming up, but but I'm going to keep my mouth shut. It's going to be a surprise. Should be a really good time. Um, you know, we're doing a lot more. Uh, we're talking about integration. We're talking about um, healing. We're going we're gonna to be talking about uh, a little bit broader topics. You know, it's not always just going to be cultivating, um, but we're going to have Ed Grand back. We're going to talk about some of the controversial topics in, in the community. We're going to talk about how to be safe, you know, in social media. Um, so much of our, our community really exists in the ethers of the internet and social media. And so um, we want to continue to provide content that's helping newbies figure out how to be safe. You know, some of us have been doing this for a while. We can, can kind of, we can spot the tell a long ways off, but not everybody can. So, so we're going to keep doing more of that. Uh, and until next week, uh, grow some mushrooms.